For the most wild yet most homely narrative which I am about to pen, I neither expect nor solicit belief. This was said by the brilliant author Edgar Allan Poe. Romanticist author Edgar Allan Poe was born on January 19, 1809, in Boston, Massachusetts. He later died on October 7, 1849, at the age of 40. Edgar Allan Poe has had a hard and trying life ever since he was born. Poe's father deserted his mother, his siblings, and him on July 26, 1811. In December 1811, Poe lost both his mother and father while he was only three. Poe was then adopted by Mr. and Mrs. Allen. Poe dropped out of college in 1827 due to lack of money which resulted from his poor gambling and drinking habits. Later that year, Poe joined the United States Army as Edgar A. Perry and quickly climbed the ranks to Sergeant Major. He published his first book, Tamerlane and other poems, while in the army at the young age of 18. Poe was later discharged from the army in 1829. In 1829, Poe's adoptive mother, Mrs. Allen, died. Shortly after Mrs. Allen's death, Mr. Allen signed Poe's application to West Point School, but in 1831, Poe deliberately got kicked out of West Point. Later that year, Poe left to live in Baltimore, Maryland with his aunt Maria Clem and her daughter Virginia. Three years later, in 1834, Mr. Allen died leaving nothing for Poe in his will. In 1836, Poe married Virginia Clem, his 13-year-old cousin, at the age of 27. Virginia died in 1847, and Poe fell ill the same year. Poe later died in 1849 in a Baltimore hospital. Edgar Allan Poe had a very good education handed to him, but he chose to ruin it. He attended a school in London and the suburban Stoke Newtonton in 1815. In 1821, he continued schooling in Richmond, Virginia until 1825, and then he attended the University of Virginia the next year. In 1830, he attended West Point, only to be purposely kicked out the next year. He then held an editorial position at the Southern Messenger magazine. Three years later, in 1839, he became assistant editor of Burton's Gentleman's Magazine. Then in 1841, he became the editor of Graham's Magazine. Even though Edgar Allan Poe's writing was very good, he didn't receive many awards. One of them he did get was for Miss Found in a Bottle, a short story, in 1833. Edgar Allan Poe was a very unusual writer. His writing was very insane and out of the ordinary at the time he wrote it. He often wrote about death and other odd concepts. Edgar Allan Poe was from the Romanticism time period. This era was from 1790 to the 1850s. There were many influences on the Romantic period, but some of the main ones were the Age of Reason, Rationalism, and the Enlightenment and Industrial Revolution. Some of the main ideas and beliefs of Romanticism are frontier, experimentation, mingling of races, growth of industrialization, God being a distant external force, the inherent darkness of human nature, and the universe being flawed. The literary styles from this time period were mainly intuition over reason, effect versus detail, large contrasts such as good versus evil, and the concern with the physical world. Edgar Allan Poe had many major influences in his writing such as him losing his parents at such a young age, his adoptive father not wanting him to become a useless author, his reliance on alcohol and gambling in college, his time spent in the U.S. Army, and his wife Virginia dying from tuberculosis. Edgar Allan Poe was mainly a poet, 
but he also wrote many short stories before he passed. Many of his works are famous and easily recognized by certain key lines. A few of his major works are The Oval Portrait, The Pit and the Pendulum, The Telltale Heart, A Dream Within a Dream, Annabel Lee, and The Raven. The Raven is probably Edgar Allan Poe's most famous poem. Then methought the air grew denser, perfumed from an unseen censer, swung by seraphim whose footfalls tinkled on the tufted floor. Wretch, I cried, thy God hath lent thee, by these angles he hath sent thee, respite, respite and the nephinth from thy memories of Lenore. Quaff, O oh, quaff this kind of nephinth, and forget this lost Lenore. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Prophet, said I, thing of evil, prophet still, if bird or devil, whether tempter sent, or whether tempest tossed thee here ashore, desolate yet all undaunted, on this desert land enchanted, on this home by horror haunted, tell me truly, I implore, is there, is there balm in Gilead? Tell me, tell me, I implore, quoth the raven, nevermore. Prophet, said I, thing of evil, prophet still, if bird or devil, by that heaven that bends above us, by that God we both adore, tell this soul with sorrow laden, if within the distant Aden, it shall clasp a sainted maiden, whom the angels name Lenore, clasp a rare and radiant maiden, whom the angels name Lenore, quoth the raven, nevermore. Be that word our sign of parting, bird or fiend, I shrieked upstaring. Get thee back into the tempest and the night's plutonian shore. Leave no black plume as a token of that lie thy soul hath spoken. Leave my loneliness unbroken. Quit the bust above my door. Take thy broom out my heart, and take thy form from off my door. Quoth the raven, nevermore. There are many beliefs from the Romanticism period shown in Poe's writing. For example, the idea of a flawed universe is shown in his poem, A Dream Within a Dream. He contemplates whether all of life is simply a dream and not real at all. Another belief shown is that art is a form of self-expression and not for craftsmanship. His poem, Lenore, was said to be a way to deal with his wife Virginia's death obviously written for his own benefit than for others. Also, his writings show the inherent darkness in human nature. His story, The Telltale Heart, exemplifies this very well. The main character kills an old man simply because he has a, quote, vulture eye, then dismembers him and hides him under the floorboards. While Edgar Allan Poe had some very dark writings, he is still definitely my favorite author of the Romantic period. She's gonna ask us something on Edgar Allan Poe. I know it, I just know that any moment now. She's gonna call on me and ask me something I don't know. 